Hi everyone, it's Tao and I'm back with another one. Look, I get it. The Galaxy Note is meant to have a large screen and is meant to be used as a two-handed phone. Especially when you consider that the defining feature of a Note device is its S Pen. S Pen in one hand, Note in the other. The large screen size allows you to comfortably jot down notes, get work done, or draw. A stylus paired phone with a small screen would just not make sense. Despite this understanding, there's still going to be those situations where one-handed use is required. Eating with one hand and want to respond to a message? Carrying groceries and need to email your boss that report that was due 10 minutes ago? Today's video is all about the 4 steps I've taken to make handling the Note 9 with one hand possible. Look at these hands, they're tiny. Getting right into them, let's go. For those of you who have been avid Note fans for a long time, I'm sure the larger form factor of the Note 9 is a non-factor. For someone transitioning from a much smaller phone, it definitely is a shock and takes some time to get used to. Over the past week, while using the Note 9 as my daily driver, I've had so many friends, even strangers, comment on how large the phone is and how I'm able to use or carry it around comfortably. Now I can just direct them to this video. Number 1. Enable one-handed mode. Go to settings, then go to advanced features, and then hit one-handed mode and toggle the feature on. You're also presented with two options to reduce screen size. You can tap the home button three times or swipe up diagonally from either bottom corner. I've personally been using the gesture since I have the nav bar hidden. Once enabled, you can see that the screen gets reduced to the bottom corner, making it much easier to touch any UI elements on the display. Tapping outside the reduced display area returns the phone back to full screen mode. I've learned to appreciate this feature since I started using the Note 9. Number 2. Navigation gestures, specifically One Hand Operation Plus from Samsung. I've done entire videos on One Hand Operation Plus, so I won't go into too much detail. The app offers enhanced One Hand Operation as the name implies. It basically generates handlers on the left and right side of the screen and allows you to designate swipe gestures to mimic the navigation buttons. It's super customizable and allows you to navigate your phone with just your thumb all while maintaining fairly good ergonomics. I no longer need to reach all the way to the bottom left to access the recents key. Check it out if you haven't already. It's a game changer for me and on the Note 9, it's even more valuable. I'll include a link to the APK in the description. Number three, get a pop socket or a smartphone ring. If you're prone to dropping your phone like me, then I suggest getting one of these. They basically stick to the back of your case or phone and provide peace of mind that your phone won't easily slip off your hand. It also comes in very handy during those times when someone bumps into you while using your phone. Even on my Galaxy S9, I was using a smartphone ring regularly with cases. On the Note 9, it's almost a must have. Number four, Put most used applications and widgets on your home screen near the bottom right or left depending which side your dominant hand is. Since I'm right handed, I've laid my apps on the right side of the screen in a way that allows my thumb to reach every single app, even without one hand mode activated. I also have my most used widgets like mobile payments, alarm, and food logger all within reach to ensure quick access when I'm on the go. In terms of carrying the phone around, I have pretty much given up on putting the phone in my pockets and exclusively store it in my purse when going out. If I don't feel like carrying a purse, I'll slap on this lanyard strap and hold on to it. There you have it, some helpful tips that have made using this beast of a phone possible with one hand for me. If you're interested in the idea of having a larger phone like the Note 9, but the only thing that's holding you back is its size, I hope these suggestions alleviate that worry for you. The massive display and S Pen are two positives that I'm starting to personally think I'll weigh the burden of a larger phone. Do you prefer big or smaller phones? Have we reached peak screen size for smartphones? Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you all so much for watching. Until the next one, peace.